Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Sunday, August 11th, 2024. It is time for some more fishing. The X, also called Harvester, needs some more repair. So let's get ready for it. But first, I need to feed the very hungry cat. I got you a very fresh salmon. What do you think about a very fresh salmon? Hello, B, by the way. Yes, you. Salmon. Here you go. He's good. He's very good. You're purring loud and clear. That's fantastic. All right, let's step outside on this fantastic Sunday. Watch the industrious bees do their thing. Collect some pollen. Okay, this bee takes some time to collect pollen. Can't decide what flower to target. I guess, ah, it's done. Good job, B. Very good job, B. Fantastic view from the pavilion. A lighthouse in the distance. The three salmon are happy. Feel this direction is still a little bit empty is the wrong word. I mean it's it's a fantastic natural scenery. Maybe maybe I should just preserve it with those mountain cows. This cow is really having a blast, I guess, enjoying the fantastic view from up there. I think I should scale that mountain and also enjoy this view. My idea of creating a volcano. I was after the first journey to Iceland as I looked for some gravel to talk about my, my experiences made during the first journey to Iceland. That was cool. Alright horse, we need to get to the fishing pond. We need to continue repairing the harvester so that I am well prepared for the next expedition. That's going to be exciting. All right. Let's quickly secure the horse. Head over to the pond. This week and also, at least for the first half of the next week, we have strong summer weather, so to say. So it's really, really hot. Too hot for my taste. Yesterday, since a very, very long time, I was finally running a park run again. So yesterday was no ambulance shift. Yesterday I was not in charge of being the, the race director of the park run. Yesterday I was just a normal runner. So I was really looking forward to it. I was especially looking forward to it as I finally wanted to run uh, as weird as it might sound, sub 20 minute 5k. After the initial injuries and issues at the beginning of the year, then the, the issue with my shoulder that still persists. So yeah, I had really the idea to do this. In the end it was a 20 minute, 20 second, 25 second, I don't know. It, it, it was definitely um, longer than 20 minutes. Mainly due 
to the stupid weather. I was out for a warm-up run before that and although I took it very easy and very slow, it, it, was, it was really, really annoying, mainly because of the high humidity compared with the high temperature, so we had already more than 20 degrees Celsius. All right, Salmon. More than 20 degree, degrees Celsius early morning. And in combination with high humidity, this was just awful. I noticed this while I was running the uh, the park run. I still surprisingly finished third. But, I mean, positions aren't really the thing I, I care. I just care about my, my personal time. So I, I felt it was really like Man, this stupid weather. Finally, I'm I'm able to to do a park run again. Finally, I'm I'm getting into into the position into a shape where I can push again and then then the weather. <laughs> then of course hot and humid temperatures had to had to hit us. As was very sad. I, I was kind of angry at the end of the park run. I was cursing a lot because I was just, yeah, just annoyed by, by the stupid summer weather. Can't wait for it to end. Can't wait for getting colder temperatures finally. As I got into the, the finish line, I was really also sweating, no surprise by when it's so hot. I, I think I could have also uh, come right of it of the the river we run next to it. So as if I would have done a swim or so. My my clothes were completely soaked. So yeah, it it, it was it was absolutely the the worst weather possible for me. And uh, yeah, that's that was sad. Luckily, next Saturday. I do have a second chance to to do a park run, so I hope the weather is then more in my favor. It's not the weather that is hindering me in my in my run. Speaking of crazy weather phenomena, Wednesday at a crazy late afternoon, right after the end of my my shift at the at the emergency room as I was walking to my car. It's a seven to ten minute walk, I would say, to the car to the free parking area where you don't have to get into the the, the paid area. And it's of course a walk up. I mean, getting to work is just nice because you just have to roll downhill so to say but getting getting to the car again is, is a little bit more stressful as you have to walk uphill and most of the time there's strong sunshine and you're you're just blasted away and uh, the the surrounding asphalt makes it even hotter on Wednesday there were some unannounced thunderstorms so yeah the, the weather forecast did not predict any thunderstorms, but there was a thunderstorm. A as I left the hospital, it was raining, but it was okay with the rain. So I thought, okay, I might get a little bit wet, but I can still walk it. But after I basically passed the last good shelter, it really started to come down. I was completely soaked as I got to the car. I mean, the the road turned a little bit into a little creek, so it was really coming down um, in, a, in a very, very strong and heavy way. And uh, yeah, so I was soaked. I, of course, had nothing to change into, so I had to sit in my soaked clothes in the car and drive home, which was fun and yeah it, it, 
the, it seemed the rain increased even in strength while I was driving. So it was a little bit like, okay, the, the roads feel flooded. There are, I mean, the, 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 the town is all around the, the river and the river isn't, at, of course, at the bottom of the valley, but here you have two, two sides. So the, the, the hospital is one end of the, the valley, where I live is basically the opposite side of the valley. So it's it's a little bit hilly, and some of the the, the downhill roads really looked a little bit like a creek. So I would say there was at least a five centimeter deep stream of water coming downhill from all the roads. It was crazy how much water was coming down. I didn't hear from flooded basements, cellars, or anything, any any anything problematic or so. But yeah, it, it, it was crazy. It was so crazy how much rain was coming down. Uh, wait, let's, let's do it like that. Oh no, I don't know if I can go to bed. Let's see if I can go to sleep, but I think there are monsters nearby, so that's... Wait, is there... I, can, can, I, can I go to bed? Oh, I can go to bed. Nice. All right. Um, so yeah, th this was, I'm sorry. Why aren't you burning? Uh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? All right. Let's get the, the good old shield out. Right. Ooh, an iron ingot. Thank you. And the skeleton, yes, the skeleton has expired over there, I guess. Creeper guy. But no. Nothing left from that, that skeleton guy. I am not feeling well with that guy around. Easy, easy, steady, steady. Got him. Dang it. Now he stopped moving. Now he moved. Ah, got him. All right. Uh, so, so yeah, the, the, this was crazy. The rest of the week, unfortunately, it, it got back to, to high temperatures and uh, humidity, as said, and ended in yesterday's annoying annoying morning and uh, rest of the day. Well, the, the rest of the day was... Ooh, hi. Ooh, are we? The rest of the day was okay. Got him. But, um, yeah, the, the, uh, it was sad. The, the internship at the emergency room continued to be somewhat pointless. I mean, the, the, the highest level of autonomy was at the final day on Friday that we were allowed to take blood samples and do some some IVs without anyone around, so yay, <laughs> um, at least something, but there will st were still some other awkward moments like I, I was tasked to uh, apply a bandage, bandage to a patient, which is a no-brainer, but in the end, the the other, the other the other one of the of the regular stuff just just did it. I I had not even the chance to, to grab the bandage before she was there. So I, I I really felt like okay, what what actually am I doing? <laughs> why why am I here? Why why don't you trust us? Why don't you sign up with something? So it, it really felt a little bit like kindergarten. But at least uh, the last day was was all right where where there was small level of autonomy. 
I'm looking really forward to the to the next week when working in the uh, field of anesthesia. I had a phone call with them on on Friday asking them, hey, they can also get to you today to already get to know each other and so on. I mean, I can also get there on Monday, but if you think it, it would be nice, I could also get there today. And they were super friendly, super, dang it, <laughs> was too quick, super excited and so on. So uh, I, I do have a good feeling about that one. So I hope the second week is, is really making up for the first week where, I, where it was just strange. But yeah, so much about this, at least got a few things done. But it could have been so much better. In the end, I got the the signatures and the the stamps and everything needed for for proving that that I did the the internship at the emergency room. So that this was the most important thing. Got that. So nice, nice that this is done. Speaking of summertime things and things that are basically done. I was really enjoying and digging the Summer Olympics. They they were fantastic. It was so great to watch the track and field events every evening, to watch the the marathons. I had to watch the the replay of the, the men's marathon yesterday as while they were running, I was doing my park run. To watch the uh, the cycling events in the velodrome. I unfortunately did not catch the road cycling events as they took place at times where I was not available. Still, it was super exciting and I'm still looking forward to the the last few um, the last few um, cycling events in the velodrome. This is so fantastic, especially seeing those, those sprint duels. So yeah, it's just it's just great to to watch these events. It's so great to especially see the or to to watch the athletes being super happy, especially when they are not the the favorite ones, and uh, how how happy they are, how how much joy they have when they when they win or when they get a medal. It was it was fantastic, and um, yes being somewhat of an athlete myself I, I can't fully understand how how great it feels to to do those things I mean I still have joy and great memories of the my sub two sub two hours no <laughs> sub three hour marathon that two hour marathon this, this would be man this would be impressive I would be the first to ever do this um my sub three hour marathon. So th this was so fantastic, and so I can fully relate to to them. And I know about all the the um, stress and 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 time and um, the endurance you need to to prepare for these things, to do regular training and so on. So yeah, th th this really fascinated me. And to some extent, after two weeks of Olympics, I mean, not, not the entire two weeks were track and field events, but most of the time were track and field events and also some other cool events. I found yesterday I watched for the very first time break dance. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's apparently a new, new thing in, in the Olympics. I watched just just a few matches, battles, duels, whatever they do. I, I'm I'm not really into that type of sports, but it, it was interesting to watch. So overall, it was pretty cool to to see some some sports you rarely see, and um, water water. What do I do with water bottles? Can can I empty water bottles and have a Normal glass bottle again. Is this the thing I can do? Um, so 
Yeah, th this was cool. And on the one hand, um, it's it's sad that the the Olympics come to a closure. They really entertained me. They they were really really great. On the other hand, after two weeks of Olympics, it's uh, I, I feel the a certain level of of Olympics has been reached. <laughs> uh, so it's it's okay to to I will just cook these these fish. Okay, th those things I just need to throw away at some point. Um, I need to figure out what I can do with these. I have some enough food still. So it's good to to then watch some other things. I mean, watching watching Olympics is still super cool. I'm not quite sure, but I think there should be also the track and field world championships. I'm quite sure they they haven't been this year. There's been so much. Can I? Oh, I, I can. I can. Okay, I can drink the. Water. What happens when I drink water? Uh, I mean, it's hot outside. I think it's time to drink some water. Yeah, I think I think that that's that's the thing I should do. Oh, the the chicken is enjoying the the one thousandth episode monument. Water, delicious. Okay, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. But 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 can I I can have at least a, a refreshing zip of water, which is cool. Um, yeah. So I think there should be also the world championship coming up at some point. I'm not quite sure when. I need to look that up. But this would be also a thing to to watch and a thing I'm looking forward to because world championships are also very exciting. So it's a very very good year for watching sports. I mean, first Tour de France, then Summer Olympics, potentially World Championships soon, question mark. <laughs> uh, that's good. There's, that's not connected to sports, but to these upcoming uh, travel plans. I haven't heard back from the car rental team yet because uh, I my, my, my flight or my, my yep yeah, I, I had to change flights so I arrived there earlier I wanted of course to get my car earlier then so wrote them an email but they haven't replied so I sent them an email again need to look up I, I just followed what they had on their email with the confirmation that I reserved a car I need to check their website if they if they don't come back to me soonish. I, I need to check their website if there's maybe a contact form or skeleton. And we <laughs> that's bending poorly. <laughs> Wait, is the skeleton following me? Okay, first we need to close that off. That we don't get angry guys, and I need to make sure that I fight the skeleton in a way that the skeleton is not accidentally shooting my horse. Hey, stop! Stop hiding in my in my flowers. That that's not fair. Hiding in the flowers does not count. That's cheating. Now we got him. Hey, why do you having? Oh no, there's another skeleton. That's problematic. All right, okay. Forest. So yeah, need, need, need to get that sorted out. And um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I will now continue to enjoy the last few events of the Summer Olympics. Really having 
Water, 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 and this is awkward potion. Okay, I think I will just consume that water next time as a refreshment. I will now enjoy the, the rest of the Olympics and then have hopefully a great start into the second week of my internship at the hospital, this time at the, the area of anesthesia. That's going to be cool, I guess. With that, we are at the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, my name is Zeppi. See you!